All right, so we've got this rooftop gas pack. I've been out here previously and diagnosed the gas valve is bad. Um, can swap it out. Got some pipe dope or pipe glue, the gas valve, some uh, basically some rust breaker, a couple of pipe wrenches in my drill. And basically what was happening is on the call for heat, this valve is, it's getting the voltage, but it's not opening the gas, the actual valve, letting the gas pass through on the supply side over to the burners. So the relay is working fine. I can actually hear it click when we call for it and it was intermittent. Sometimes it'd fire up, sometimes it wouldn't. So only other factor in here is the gas valve. So we're gonna replace that. Got the power turned off. I know this fitting is gonna be hard to break. So I'm gonna go ahead and douse it with some rust breaker. And we gotta take this end out of the gas valve. Gonna turn the gas off. It was easier than I thought it was going to be. And for those of you that don't know, the reason for this piece here is because you can't twist this pipe out of the gas valve because you're going to tighten it back here. If this was a straight piece and you're twisting it counterclockwise to get it out of the gas valve, it's going to be twisting clockwise into this elbow and you're not going to have the slack. make note of where these wires go so brown is on common blues on medium reds on high this is a two-stage gas valve now that we've got this panel out of the way I actually see what we're doing here so the whole burner assembly and we want to separate this gas valve from this pipe here so we need to keep tension on the pipe going the opposite direction of the way we need to turn this gas valve Joker's on there. And it's uh, fairly cold, so this stuff's going on a lot thicker than it needs to be. Alright, you want to make sure you read the directions. Like this thing came with the uh, some reducer bushings, but we don't need that. So we're just gonna put this one right back on. Which, <laughs> gotta pay attention to your gas flow arrow. I 
almost put this on backwards. All right, so we need to do one more full rotation. At least, but you want to get it somewhat hand tight where you're not having to strain. And then use your pipe wrenches to get it back around. Good. Put some get some of this loose debris off the threads. gas valve in place and I'm sure there's gonna be some people that are like oh it has to be torqued down to a certain level and all that Hey, that's great. If you want to look up the torque specs, come out here with some fancy torque wrench to do gas pipe, have at it. All right, we're going to turn. It's already on. I recall brown was on common. Blue was on medium and red was on high. All right, we're gonna turn the gas back on. Okay. This thing's got about a five minute delay. So we're gonna turn the power on. Put this panel back in. And while we're waiting on this thing to kick back on, just know that you're covering, not damaging other pieces. Let's say you wanted to remove this valve and this section of the piping was already off. So you just had an open nipple here Okay, you would want to hold the valve in place with one pipe wrench while you turn the pipe out with another. So you want to keep this piece from turning while you're taking this piece out. Then you want to keep this piece in place while you twist the valve off. Or you could keep this play in place with all this still intact and twist the valve and this piece off together. Then hold the valve in one wrench, twist this piece off. But you're always going to need a union to terminate pipe because you can't twist a straight piece of pipe into that valve without it coming out of this elbow. So you always have to have a threaded union. See, they've got one over here. It's probably another one close to the meter, but uh, some folks are probably gonna say we should have replaced this because it's rusty, but it came apart very easily. Um, that's about it. As far as gas, we don't do a lot of gas in South Alabama. So 
stuff like this the occasional residential gas furnace and that's it and it fired right up all set close this thing up we're gonna get out of here